Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We are going to tie a steelhead muddler. Great pattern in the summertime. Um, what I have here is a Daiichi 2141. This is a stout loop-eyed hook. I'm going to tie in some flat braid, hairline flat braid and gold. This pattern is um, great skated or fished damp on a dry line. You can uh, riffle hitch it to get it to stay up. This is a stout hook. You could also substitute the hook for a bomber, Daiichi bomber hook, that Van Klinken, I believe it is. Hope I'm not uh, destroying that too badly. Next, we're going to tie in. Um, a little bit of crystal flash, about three strands. I'm going to cut that off so it's just about to the bend of the hook. And then next is we got a pair of mottled turkey. And um, you want to these need to be paired up and you're going to come from the same side of each feather as they correspond on the bird. So I'm going to come in here and cut out a section, cut a similar section on the other side, and then I'll show you what we do with them next after that. And you're going to lay them so the curves come together. So I'm going to lay those feathers side by side. And this is not a traditional muddler by any stretch of the imagination. This is just something that's been adapted. Um, I will lay that so the tips come back to the bend. Make sure your thread is laying right where you want to seat it. Come over loose. Hold that thread firmly. Pull down. A couple more wraps. I'm going to not let it go yet. I'm going to grab these tips and twist them so they're all stacked on top. And I've got a little muddler wing. Okay. I tie these a little shorter probably than the standard muddler wing would be. This is a compact little fly. Okay, so now I've got my crystal flash in there. I'm going to trim a few pieces a little shorter just for giggles. You can add um, some gray squirrel under there if you like. It's optional. Um, for this type of pattern we're doing. Now we've got the the, uh, the wing set. What I'm going to do is um, grab some, um, this is 150 denier GSP um, from VVIFS and it's a Kevlar thread basically, gel spun thread. And it um, is going to make spinning this hair and seating it way easier. So make sure you get that on there nice and secure and just get it right in front of your wing. Okay, right in front of your wing. Got our hair stacked. I'm going to take this and lay it in underneath. Two loose wraps. Pull down snug. Get a third wrap in there. Fourth wrap, and you're done holding that in place. Let go. I'm going to pull this and trim it up a little bit just to get it out of the way. And then I'm going to take another big clump of deer hair. That I've stacked thoroughly. Okay, I'm going to match it up on the top just about where the other hair is. Two loose wraps, pull her down snug, and then just start working your way forward through the hair. Okay. I've actually gone through the hair moving forward because I don't want this head too dense. Um, this fly, I want to be able to fish it dry and wet. Okay. 
I'm going to put just a little more hair in here. You know, you can get away with big enough clumps that you probably don't have to add any more. And this is a loop by hook, so it's going to be a little hard to spin it. We'll see what happens. Um, normally I have enough hair that I don't have to add any, but it's okay. I want to show you how to do this in case you get in the same situation. So what I'm going to do now is grab this hair and just lay it in there on top, put a couple wraps on it, snug it down, and then we'll do another little section on the bottom and we'll have it. Um, if you're doing this on a straight shank, you know, as soon as you get beyond the section where you initially set your wing, um, you're going to have bare shank showing, which is perfect for spinning hair. And we'll do another video on spinning hair, um, the proper technique um, in the future. But for now, I'm going to show you how to just cheat. I just tied that in there, wrapped through it, and then I will take, then I will take my thumb and compress that real good. They make tools to do this too that you could use. And then I'll just put a whip finish on here. Okay, snug that down. I'm going to take my scissors and just lay them in there. This GSP is hard to cut. Okay, so now we got hair. I'm just going to stand this hair out. And I'm going to start cutting. And then I'll grab this hair now and I'll kind of make sure everything's covering real good. Get these last few little hairs. Of course, I'll clean this up a little bit more, but um, for general purposes, I'll grab my wing and make sure it's going to stand up and set right. You know, you can manhandle that wing as long as you hold it together. And there you have a steelhead moga.